Oh, there was a potential opening with Cena, and you blew it. I don't think it's over. Are you crazy? He turned you down and then you insulted him? We can forget about a match. He probably won't even come back for a simple appearance now. So thanks for that. I'm telling you, I think I struck a nerve with him. And a man like that is too proud to just let that go. Let me do one more thing to get his attention, and if this doesn't work, then I'll move on. You've already tried one more thing two or three times. He's going to respect the fact that I won't give up. And then you'll get your star power and your ratings boost that you want so bad. Ugh, what do you want to do? I want The Undertaker. What? Let me explain. Cena was in the exact same position I'm in with The Undertaker a few years ago at WrestleMania. He was so desperate for a match he bought a ticket and sat in the audience waiting. When Undertaker eventually did appear, Cena lost in five minutes. I remember all that. What's your point? I want to send Cena a final message by doing what he couldn't do at WrestleMania. I want to defeat The Undertaker. That's really pushing it, but I think I can make it happen. And if Cena sticks to his word and never answers your challenge, then at least I'll get the ratings boost I was looking for with The Undertaker. And if Cena does change his mind, then even better. All right. Looks like you got yourself a match against the Phenom. The WWE Champion has been on a roll, but tonight the champ will have to take his game to an entirely new level as he takes on the incomparable WWE legend, The Undertaker. It's the WWE Champion versus the Dead Man on Raw. This is huge! I have a feeling that even John Cena is going to be taking a break from his busy Hollywood schedule to watch this one. That's certainly the champion's plan. Let's see if it works. Ring IQ on display there. Oh, wicked punch. He reverses it. What a suplex. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Leg sweep. What the heck? That's not supposed to happen. Of course it's not, Cole. That's what makes it so effective. Placed into the corner. And he was ready for Undertaker. Undertaker tied up here. Mega driver. That's what it takes to put the dead man down. Right end it. One, two, three. A monumental victory tonight for the WWE Champion over the Phenom himself, The Undertaker. You never want to overlook an accomplishment like that, but I think the Champion still has other things on his mind. John Cena, over the past few weeks, I've done everything I can to prove to you that I'm worthy of a match that I'm worthy of your time. I mean, I just beat The Undertaker, which is something you couldn't do. So you know what? Maybe, maybe I've been looking at this the wrong way. Maybe it's not about proving that I'm worthy of your time. Maybe you're not worth mine. I have to agree with the WWE Champion here. It's time to move on from this whole John Cena thing. Wait a second. It's John Cena. The face of WWE has come home. 
I can't believe it. After weeks of unanswered challenges and then Cena himself saying it wasn't going to happen, the WWE Champion has gotten John Cena to return to Monday Night Raw. And there you have it. Cena is back for one thing, the WWE Championship. Hey, this is a matchup that no one thought we'd ever see. And now it looks like it's happening. This is going to be one for the ages. Wakes of grueling battles have all led the WWE Champion to this moment. A chance to etch his name into the WWE history books against the one and only John Cena. Talk about box office. Two of the biggest draws in sports entertainment are fighting for the right to call themselves the true face of WWE. You want to talk faces? The WWE Champion finally got his wish. A chance to carve his mug right up there on the WWE's Mount Rushmore. Into the corner. Good knee. Golly, what a knee. Producing a trampling. Oh, what a boot to the face. This could be big. Going up high. Take off. Time to foot stop to the chest. Cena is unable to stop this string of offense. Cena's just trying to weather the storm. He's going for it all. Up high. Double stop. The challenger is not in a great place. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Handstand leg drop. Cena in a compromised position. The champions need to finish the job. The title hangs in the balance. The champion's shock is palpable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. A new strategy is needed right about now if that couldn't end things. He went right into that turnbuckle. And he is now in a discouraging spot. Yeah, but he's always one counter away from changing things. And they failed to hit the mark. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Connected to that. Dangerous spot for him to be in. You gotta figure out a way to get back in it. Look at this athleticism. Into the kick. Very nice.
Welcome to what should be one of the most brutal championship matches we've ever seen between the defending WWE champion and one of the most decorated superstars in WWE history, John Cena, as they face off in a last man standing match. That means that one of these two extraordinary athletes will need to keep the other down for a full 10 count to walk out of here tonight with the title. It's hard enough keeping Cena down for a three count, let alone 10. Let's see if the WWE Champion has what it takes to pull it off. Ah, uh, took off the, uh, the hood of the announce table yeah. out there by the monitors. Sad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. I guess he thinks the one thing missing in this match is a steel chair. Steel chair for the ribs. Able to avoid there. Oh. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. This doesn't even look like trying to win a match anymore. This looks like trying to end someone's career. This is getting scary now. No one can survive this much. Oh, it's not going to be good. This is not going to be good. Brain Buster. An uninterrupted surge against Cena here. Cena needs to find some energy fast. Super kick. by Cena. Banging back with their own counter. Half and half suplex. Lights out. <laughs> Leg sweep. Clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well being. And he's able to reverse. <laughs> Headlock. Ooh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Straight out of the post on the outside. Climbs back inside. You can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him. Cena with a shoulder tackle. And here comes Big Match John. Don't throw a punch. Don't throw a punch. Oh, that never works. Punch lands. The champ taking their share of hits now. Like that, Cena gets intercepted. Set crashing to the floor. And he's taking this to the outside now. Turning the tables there. He's got him scouted. Climbs back into the ring. He returns to the ring. Cena turning things around. He takes control. Free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Moves outside. What's the plan here?
Leg sweep. Oh! Comes back into the ring. Oh, man. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. next stretch. Getting close. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, the the champion retains. Here is your winner, and still the WWE. Gentlemen, you are looking at a man who is sick of the doubters, sick of being questioned about his potential. And I can't disagree with him. I expect tonight to be a night where he can silence the skeptics and prove to be the future of this company. It will be a tall order, but the confidence he possesses could take him very far. And across the way, you have Mustafa Ali, a talented and nefarious competitor whose only agenda is to create as much chaos as possible, both in the ring and behind the scenes. Ali's made his intentions very clear. He's here to bring down the entire WWE and every superstar here along with it. I have no doubt he's willing to do whatever it takes to bring his plans to fruition. And Ali's nefarious plans got put on hold with that attack. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Ouch. First one missed, 
second one didn't. Effective. Look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. Leg sweep. Oh, Mustafa Ali caught. And that just silenced Ali. Hey, did you get my text? I did, and the voicemails, and the DMs. I was almost expecting a handwritten letter to show up in the mail. If that would help greenlight the WCW reunion show, then I'd do it. Look, I heard you already have Rey Mysterio on board, and obviously he can still go. But what about the other former WCW guys who aren't really active anymore? Okay, so what if I bring in another former WCW star and have a match against them on Raw to prove to you this can work? Okay, fine. I'll be watching. But if I'm not impressed then, then it's off. No more texts, DMs, or letters. Deal? I promise, you won't be disappointed. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a too sweet treat for you. One of your favorite WWE superstars faces off against a two-time Hall of Famer from DX and the NWO. I couldn't believe it when I heard X-Pac was back tonight. Well, the man looks like he's in the best shape of his life. I wouldn't want to face X-Pac back in his WCW days, and I sure as hell wouldn't want a piece of him now. Oh, nice takedown. Going for the cover. And he gets the shoulder up. Just using the cover to drain out some energy. Oh, oh red right in there. Yeah. Running knee lift. Oh. Set him up for the flat line. He's absorbed some damage already. He planned for this and could still rally. Delivers the cross body. Cross body. Leg sweep. X-Pac able to adapt. X-Pac looking to get back in this. But X-Pac has to push now while the window is open. That kick will 
stop me in your tracks. Leg sweep. What an incredible moonsault. Stomping. Ouch. That was mounted with punches. Or not. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Oh, leaping through the air. Moonsault. Moonsault. Consecutive high risk maneuvers, and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. What a leg sweep. He's trying again. Oh, man, got drive. That's going to keep X Pac down. Cover. One, two, three. And this one is over. This should be very interesting. All week long, you've heard about a huge announcement I'd be making tonight. And now the time has finally come. You might be able to guess what it is based on the men who are gathered in this ring and those giant steel letters. But let's make it official. In the very near future, there's going to be a special one-night tribute show to the men and women of World Championship Wrestling. And it's going to be called WCW One Night Nitro. That's right. Raw is now where the big boys play. <laughs> I just want to say it's truly an honor to be a part of helping put all of this together. And I can't wait to pay tribute to the legends in this ring and many more who influenced my career. Now, with that being said, I'd like to... Huge news with the announcement of WCW One Night Nitro. But apparently, AJ Styles has something to say about it. Whatever it is, it must be urgent. Sorry to crash the big party, but I just wanted to say I'd love to be a part of this reunion show too. Apparently you forgot I spent a few months in WCW before it went out of business. No slight intended. I was actually planning on reaching out to you. Just wanted to make sure we saved room on the card for some of the more well-known WCW stars. Well-known, huh? I, I mean well-known in WCW, not in general. Like you said, you were only there for a few months. But I'm sure we can work this out. Let's talk more later, all right? Yeah, sounds good. I'll let you get back to it. As you can see, this show is so big that everyone wants to be a part of it. Now stay tuned to the WCW hotline. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> stay tuned to social media for more information on WCW One Night Nitro. We never thought we'd see this moment. WCW will return for one night only. Hold up. AJ Styles with the chair shot. He's not waiting to talk about this later. AJ Styles clearly felt disrespected tonight, and now he's taking it out on all the WCW legends. And down goes Booker T. Kevin Nash can't stop AJ either. 
Mysterio off the top. And Styles dumps Ray to the outside. Okay, maybe this will be a fair fight. Guess not. AJ setting up for the Styles Clash. Down out of the steel chair. This was supposed to be a moment to celebrate the legends of WCW, but AJ Styles did everything in his power to ruin that. Just pathetic, in my opinion. This seems to be about more than just being excluded from the event. There's something else going on here. And one more disgraceful act to close out an all-around shameful night for AJ Styles. All week long, I've been getting messages on social media. Why, AJ? Why did you take out the WCW legends? Why did you ruin one night Nitro? Well, here's the answer. At first, I was slightly offended I wasn't considered for the show. After all, like I said, I was an actual wrestler there. Unlike the super fan wannabe putting it all together, who never stepped foot in a WCW ring. More on him in a second. But then the more I thought about it, I didn't want to be a part of bringing back and honoring the egotistical, greedy dinosaurs who slept walked through their matches just to collect a fat paycheck, putting the company out of business, and nearly killing my career before it ever got started. In fact, it was so bad down there, when they first offered me a contract, I turned it down and took a job delivering water because it paid more. Because all these so-called legends were flying around in private jets with their guaranteed contracts, wrestling four times a year, and there was no money left to pay guys who actually wanted to be there. Ultimately, I ended up going to WCW for three months, and it was way worse than I thought it would be. Every decision from the top guys was made to hold back the younger, more talented wrestlers like me. Finally, it all caught up to them and the company folded. I had to go back to the Indies and work my butt off to make it to where I am today. But I'm the exception. Most of the younger WCW guys from that era, like my old tag team partner, they never made it. So that's how I remember WCW. Not as this company that beat WWE for a short time or part of this over glorified golden era of wrestling, but a sinking ship that almost took down AJ Styles with it. So that's why I did what I did. I shut down the embarrassing tribute show before it ever happened, and I'd do it again 500 times. So let's circle back to the guy who started all this. You were just a fan when all that with WCW went down. You had no idea what really happened, but in my eyes, that almost makes you worse than the so-called legends you put on a pedestal. You're supposedly a WWE superstar now, so act like it. This isn't your time to play fantasy WCW. It's embarrassing. So you want to talk about destroying me for what I did? Remember, WCW already tried that, and they failed. So I'm going to do a favor for every man and woman in that locker room who has any actual respect for what we do, and destroy you. <laughs> Challenge accepted. The man who attempted to bring you one night Nitro gets his chance for revenge against AJ Styles, who crashed his party last week. What a disgraceful display from the phenomenal. But a 
that's what we've come to expect from AJ Styles. See, I think AJ Styles must have learned something from his old job delivering H2O because he poured a bucket of cold water on the WCW reunion show and every legend who thinks they can waltz back into the ring whenever they want. There's repercussions for that. Like this match tonight. Oh, backbreaker. And a Russian leg sweep. Both wrists captured and that was nasty. Styles has no control here, but AJ can't let this flourish derail him. Kick right to the face. Is he attempting a Styles clash? It's Finn Balor. What's he doing here? It seems Balor's attempting to help out his former club partner. He's certainly got everyone's attention. AJ Styles has a, a chair, and the referee has no idea. Neither does his opponent. It's Kevin Nash. We haven't seen Nash since Styles took out the WCW Legends a few weeks back. This is his chance for payback. <laughs> Kevin Nash just turned on his friend. I can't believe this is happening. And now AJ taking advantage. He's going to do it. He hits this and it's done. Styles Clash. shocking actions of Kevin Nash. This is unbelievable. What exactly is the relationship between these three? I'm not sure if Balor and Styles even know. There's your answer. It looks like we've just witnessed the birth of some kind of new NWO slash club type alliance. This is bad news for WWE. Oh, I agree. Nothing good can come from this. The WWE Universe has been in shock ever since AJ Styles annihilated an entire roster of WCW legends. And things turned even darker when Kevin Nash joined forces with Styles and Finn Balor. They sure did, especially for the superstar originally responsible for the ill-fated One Night Nitro. That superstar will try to get even with Styles as he teams up with a WCW icon who's ready to fight back against this emerging alliance of outsiders. If they take them down, then AJ will be on the hook for a one-on-one -on -one rematch. Face wash. He's struggling a bit here. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. And Styles is taking a lot of offense now. AJ's got to slow this momentum down. the edge of the knee. 
Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Leg sweep. on an attack to that area. Exclamation point! Ooh. Ooh. That'll turn your lights out. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. He is getting shredded apart right now. This is where his fortitude will be put to the test. And tag. He's in now. Finally. Vicious right forearm. Hooked up with backdrop suplex. And he barely evades. Oof. Shows the way to go. Running knee lift. Oh, vicious knee to the face. This match grinded him down a little. Oh, what a leg sweep. Setting up the game. He's about to do it. He's about to do it again. Is this what he needs for the win? Styles is getting dominated. AJ's got to assert himself back in this one. He thinks he has. makes the dream work in this tag team. What started as an attempted tribute to WCW's larger-than-life legends blend here tonight between two superstars looking to leave their own marks on WWE. And they'll have to do it in a steel cage match, which means no more invited guests and no more uninvited guests either. After what we've seen recently, I'm not even sure a steel cage can contain this issue, but we're about to find out. Running knee lift. He's lost some of his win now. The added pressure of the steel cage may be getting to him. Left by the turnbuckles. Oh, what a knee. Producing a trampling. Brutal form. Styles has the momentum against him here. AJ's got to find a window to fight back. Piercing strike. Setting it up. Shoulders up. 
Better hold off on the victory parade. Yeah. Oh. He's got the answer for that one. Oh, what a leg sweep. Oh, man, AJ Styles is in real trouble. Mega Driver, AJ's eyes are glazed over. Seemed like a pretty easy...